All right, I want to see this. You know, as I am a long-term, long-time Kinesis user. In fact, I've used Kinesis for you. so long, I forgot to turn off alerts. Um, I've used Kinesis for so long that I used it back in its advantage two days, and I got inspired by multiple coworkers. I have a coworker that ha still has his from uh, college in the early 2000s or late 90s, and he still uses the Kinesis Advantage 1. To this day, 30 years, same keyboard. It's incredible. By the way, for those that don't know, if you haven't seen Men in Black keyboard, okay, Kinesis, Advantage, 2, okay? That's the 2. All right, all right, let's look at this. Let's look at this. Veteran viewers know that I have a bit of a history with ergonomic keyboards, but yeah. it all started with the Kinesis Advantage 2. <laughs> Me, personally, I got the Kinesis Advantage 2, never looked back. I literally never went off and explored other keyboards. I've never had the desire to. I found my baby. I've loved my baby. I will continue to love my advantage. The end. This is the Advantage 360 Professional. There's also a non-professional, which is basically a souped up version of that I same keyboard pro. I saw back then. So the question is, what's new? What does it come with? And will I switch to it? I do currently use and have used for several years a similar but different on the keyboard why would you want to do a way home why would you want to use that I, I i have several problems with just this Who keyboard in general and have okay used for several years a similar I, I i mean your hands are so close like you're gonna have this weird shoulder like bone out and i i don't know i don't know about that i mean i what i do appreciate is that the the, the lean into the thumb cluster i think this is good i think this is a good move you gotta have thumbs like isn't it crazy that you have you have 10 fingers and you largely only use eight for typing. Like, isn't that by itself crazy? Isn't that just wild? It's like, why, why, why do you, like, you got 25% more fingers just available. Yeah, it's hard to say you use this one other than for space, right? Space is like, bah. pinky equals garbage finger. Yeah, if you're better. No, not 20% more. That's see, you did incorrect math. So this is actually a statistics thing. This is where people fall apart on statistics and they don't understand why statistics are so manipulative. Now, if I would have said you have 10, but you use eight, that would be a 20% reduction in fingers. But if you have eight and you use 10, that's 25% increase, okay? It's the old trick of the brain. You always use the direction that has the bigger number because it sounds, it sounds more important, doesn't it? Absolutely atrocious. Similar, but different. That's how crypto made me broke. Exactly. Inside the box, we have two key modules. I have two of those box. I have three Kinesis Advantage 360 boxes. I have two Kinesis Advantages up there. I have a pinks. I have reg browns, and I have uh, jades. Jades sound so good. I'll do a little uh, sound test at the end of this. With bubble wrap for the children, as well as a box of accessories. It's pretty funny. You get actually. a key cap puller but not a key switch puller. More on that later. You get a USB A to C cable for connecting the keyboard to A to C, baby. Let's go. Your PC. They even have Advantage 360 branded cable ties. Pretty cool. Maybe six feet long? I'm not six feet tall, so you know, I can't grab that wide. A bridge <laughs> connector, basically a piece of plastic that says 360 on it, and it holds the two key modules together. This guy's at least pretty endearing. I've extra never seen this guy caps. before. With this model, these are shine through ABS caps on the non professional. Okay. They're actually uh, double shot PBT caps. Weird that you get different key caps, but that's what the $30 difference gets you, baby. And a quick start guy. It also is ZMK versus their like proprietary uh, smart set engine. That's like the difference between the pro and the not pro. I don't like wireless. I've just never liked wireless ever. Wireless is just like so frustrating to me. So I just don't, I, I just, I just can't do it. I just can't do it because it always, it's, it, it, there's always some sort of problem with it. I just want the effing wire and I want it to work every single time. And then you, uh, you have to have, you, the, the problem with wireless is you have to have wires anyways because how the hell do you charge it, right? So it's like you're not escaping wires. You just have wires that you shove behind, so then you re-pull them. And if you forget to pull them out, you're wired for the day. So it's just like, F it. I'm going wired. I don't care about this crap, okay? It's annoying. Just stop, stop, stop. Stop, 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 stop. I'll take for headsets. I use wired headsets, baby. I use wired headsets. I use wired headsets. Okay. I use wired everything. Let's look at the mod. Mostly because I think Bluetooth's gonna give you cancer, make the frogs gay, and all that stuff. Jewels. Don't give these to your kids to play with, but they're so fun. These are so awesome. They have a great weight to them. 
They have very high yes. quality plastics. They don't feel 3D printed at all. Like they look pretty yeah. modern. I remember the Advantage 2 was like, had a great ergonomic innovations, but it's kind of just a weird like 80s feeling keyboard, even though it wasn't. But this is nice. Now yeah. let's talk about the features. I typically say that you can kill a man with this keyboard. Like this, this keyboard could double as a weapon. Like that's a good keyboard. In fact, the base plate on it, the base plate on it is uh, steel. Like that's nice. Like that's a that's a good that's a good it's a good measurement, right? It's chonky, yeah. Whereas like if you used um if if you used like a 3D printed one, you couldn't kill a man. You'd hit him once and the 3D printing would explode. This one you could go you could go to prison for the rest of your life if you played your cards right. Like that's how good this one is. First of all, it's split. And that gives you a lot of flexibility because you can put a, them close together, you can put them far apart. And this allows you to have whatever kind of ergonomic setup for your shoulders that you need. So mm -hmm. you can turn them like that and have it like that, which is nice. <laughs> and that's going to reduce what's called ulnar deviation, which is when your hands go like this. If you're like, yeah, that's, in that's the devil. Don't do that. Kind of like that's that. how you hurt yourself. With a split keyboard, you can tilt them in, put your elbows on the table. That's great. It also gives you the freedom to put your mouse where you want. Believe it or not, some people may choose to spread the modules like this and put the mouse in the middle. And what that does is it prevents them from reaching way over here for their mouse, which can cause shoulder and neck strain. That's the name of the game. You know, a really big tip not to get strained from reaching, just so you know, is uh, exercising. I, this may be, this may sound crazy, is uh, you should just exercise. It really help. It really does help. Drinking water, exercising, and sleeping right really works. And NeoVim also is a great way to avoid the mouse. If you just if you just you if you just use NeoVim, you'll never use the mouse. Whereas I mean, I know most of you use VS Code. I'm sorry that you guys use VS Code. I know you just love clicking on your little things like, oh, I gotta jump to definition, clickety click, control click. Um, it's not my fault. You're a loser. Okay, enjoy enjoy being a loser. Ergonomics. We're trying to reduce, prevent, or heal from repetitive stress injuries, and there's a few different ways you can get them. Ulnar deviation, shoulder strain. Another way you can develop an RSI is from having too much wrist extension. This is flexion, yep. this is extension, and that hurts. And normally it's because- That's why you don't wanna rest your hands on the keyboard, right? When I type, I float, like you're playing the piano. You float, okay? It gives you more confidence. At first, you feel more afraid because you're floating and you're in your and you're out and you're out and you you don't want to you don't want to you don't want to mess it up and you feel scared. Whoopsies! I just pressed a button, but then as you get used to it, oh man, you can fly, you can fly. Hands are on your desk. If your keyboard has those little legs on the back that make it tilt up, I used to always use those, but once I got educated, I stopped because that's extension. These, you don't even have the option of extending your wrist because the wrist pad is built onto the key module itself. It just like forces you. Look how neutral my wrist is there. It's just straight. And not only that, yeah, you they still shouldn't do that. An In fact, I believe the Kinesis Advantage uh, 360, I believe, I believe if you read the manual, you would know that the manual specifically states you should float your hands while typing, rest your hands when you're not. Okay? You rest while I'm talking and then float. Read the friendly manual. I literally, dude, I, dude, okay, yes. The guy that can't read just told the guy that probably can read that he should read the manual. The guy that does not read the manual just told this man to read the friendly manual. I'm sorry. Sold separately accessory for $25 and it's attaches on with magnets. It's so awesome and slick. It's I have some of those. They plush, made my hands sweaty. Getting it. If you're in the market I couldn't use keyboard, them. I, I, I literally became a sweaty mess. So awesome. I just, I just never use them. Pronation, which is when your hands are like this, the two bones in your arm, the radius and the ulna, they scissor and they pinch tissue. This is the one that I feel the most. And this is also the, the way that this keyboard has improved probably the most. Like I, that's also why I can't use like a, I can't use uh, gaming keyboards. Like some people can use, some people can use gaming keyboards. I can't use gaming keyboards. Like they, they just. By the way, this is a Kinesis TKO total knockout. Sounds delicious. Uh, I can't, I can't, I can't use these. Like I can't. They, they just destroy my. They literally destroy. They just destroy myself. That's not what scissoring is. I know. I use Windows to stream. Shut up. There it goes. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's literally the window sound. I use keyboards from Ergodox, which are really cool, but their tenting system is so much more finicky. You got these little legs. Yeah, I hate, those, I, hate, I hate those. I hate. I hate those kind of little on legs these, like that because you'll one crush big it down. Stand with a button under it, and what that allows you to do is you you depress the button, and you can increase the angle. 
and it does. It's not a pressure situation, right? The button has to be pressed to move. Whereas those ergo do, ergodox ones, one of the problems I had is that I type pretty violently, and when I get into things, I type so hard I was getting the legs to go, <sighs> or lower it just like that. There's only one dimension to it. You you know the extra jank of the ergodox allows you to put all sorts of different angles, but this is just up and down this way, which is unpronating your arms, unpinching That was that so tissue. awesome that he said so supinating. I would just tent it to the max. Look how, I don't like, see, I actually don't That looks tent cool. Mine. This guy has a cool profile. If you guys could see what I see from this way, like, it's neat. And finally, what's the deal with these contoured key wells? Well, that is because Travel your fingers don't have to sit on the keyboard like that. They get to rest in a natural state like this. And not only that, look at, look at the variation in the key heights. What they're trying to do there is have it so that the keys are at a consistent distance from your finger. As it sweeps in its range of motion, it should be able to touch all those keys. They're all right there. See, like this number key is farther away, but it's also sticking out more. So by, by the way, this is one of my favorite features. It doesn't feel like I'm reaching that far. When I'm when I'm going upwards, right? Like it just feels like I'm I'm reaching out. I'm just pushing it. And I have small. I have like little baby hands, so I have to reach a little bit, but it's just not much. It's very nice. Have to that's reach why I love concavity. That's what, that's why I always say it goes thumb clusters, then concavity. Like if you don't go thumb cluster concavity as the order of importance, you're way off, right? It ha dude, I do have small hands. Okay, I have little baby hands. I'm six feet tall, and I have like baby hands. My wife has the same hand, size of hands as me. She's five foot six. Everybody has bigger hands than me. Everybody. Beast Co. When I put my hands in his hand, it was like it was like I, my 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 child in my hand. Okay, it was just so easy. It's just awesome. They thought it through. If you're someone who's suffering from an RSI or trying to prevent one, and that is your number one thing, this is probably. <laughs> oh, we gotta pause this. That 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 was a great art. That that was great. Yo, I'm six foot negative four. <laughs> I still, I still got that six. I still got that six foot in there. Concavity is something you have to feel to understand. The distance your fingers move are so short that you feel as though the energy you deplete while typing is one third. Yeah, I agree with that. Anyways, probably or at least this brand is probably the Ergo keyboard to go with. They really thought it through. But that doesn't mean I don't have problems with it, which we'll get to in a bit. But first, thanks to you, Green, for sponsoring this video. Ugreen. Meet the Revodoc Max 213, a 13-in-1 connectivity solution with 13 ports, including USB-C, an SD card reader, and a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port. It's a great companion for any workflow. Its two Thunderbolt 4 ports let you enjoy blazing fast file transfers at blazingly fast. 40 gigabit per second, along with Is stunning this like a 8K plug -in or thingy? dual 4K 60 hertz display options. You can even keep your devices powered up with 90 watts fast charging. Universally compatible with major Apple, Windows, and tablet devices, the Revit Max 213 is built to. Real talk, I have no. What what is this for? I actually have no idea. What do you use this for? Is this for like? Is this like an extension thing? It's just a dock. Okay, I I like literally. I've, I, <laughs> my setup is so stupid. I I've just like never used a dock in my lifetime. It's either I'm on my laptop, or I just have 1,000 cables, horrifyingly done, all shoved together. Docs are good for laptops? Okay, yeah, I could buy that. It seems like people like that. I got one for my wife, not for me. Increase productivity no matter what setup you have. Get yours today at the link below. Let's continue the journey of discovery here. You can see there's a power on switch for That's each good. one. Yep. There's also a USB-C port for yep. each one. If you're wondering what that bridge accessory does, I think she Keeps that a solid distance, so in case you want to... Tent? So, so in case you don't know, if you didn't read the friendly manual, this distance right here mimics the Advantage 2's distance. And so if you wanted to have the Advantage 2's distance, but you didn't want to have, uh, and you didn't want it to shift, because one of my problems with these things is that it, as you're typing, you get aggressive, you get a little bit of shifty shift. And so by having that thing in there, it prevents it from happening. I, I took mine out because I wanted to, you know, I wanted to move it a little bit, but yeah. So if you wanted to replicate the Advantage 2, you can just do that. And then you hear you that loud snap? One unit. That's pretty cool, but I like it to be a little turned in, so I probably wouldn't use this. Yeah, neither would I. Yeah, there you go. Keyboard does not come with a dongle. It's Bluetooth, which is okay. I do like to have a dongle, a little lower latency, and just kind of simpler setup. You just leave that thing in your computer. The keyboard is available with multiple different switch types from the store. However, they're not hot swappable, which is yeah. 
sad. You can't. I don't think so. I think hot swappable is largely unreliable and poopy. And put any key switch you want on here. So you do have a little bit of a selection. These ones that it comes with these browns, they're not Cherry MX browns, they're Gateron browns. It, it's one of those things. These keyboards, Ergo keyboards often have a hefty price tag and you kind of just wish that you got everything under the sun for that price, like and hot swappable key. I, I sorry, I, I didn't realize that you guys type so gently and you guys don't type like a furious maniac like I do. I type really, really hard. I, I've literally broken my keyboard by how hard I hit my space bar. I am not a gentle, I am not a gentle, I am, I, my MacBook Pro when I used to own it had a wave in the metal. Okay, I'm not, a, I'm not a gentle person. No, it's not in frustration. I just type hard because I grew up like a man. Finger power, people. Um, also, by the way, he, he, this may be a little bit old, but he, they, they have uh, different switches now. You can get different switches. So I have, I have, uh, I have jades. Yeah, let's go over to here. So I have some sweet jades. You can get... Uh, you know what I mean? I got some, some sweet... Some sweet one. I'm a monster. I work by myself. Cool to have. And if I'm spending so much for a keyboard, it'd be nice for it to be not just my ergo keyboard, but also my enthusiast keyboard. Like, let me put freaking pandas in here. But alas, I would say that's a through line with my criticisms for this thing overall. During filming, Kinesis added the Advantage 360 signature to their lineup, where an aftermarket outfitter called UpgradeKeyboards.com will build you a 360 or a 360 Pro with purportedly any switch you want and cool other upgrades, as long as you're willing to wait up to six months. One thing that I love to have in an ergonomic keyboard is thumb clusters, which is what you have here. Their philosophy at Kinesis is why let your little pinky I took that route. So I much heavy route. lifting on a keyboard when your thumbs are way stronger. Let them do repetitive tasks like spacebar, backspeed, space, delete. I will say enter was one of the hardest. Like the thumb cluster was pretty hard to get used to. You know what I mean? Thumb cluster was pretty hard to get used to overall. Uh, the control being right here on your thumb, you know, it took a little bit. Like it definitely, there was definitely a jump there for a little bit. That it, it took, it took a little bit. Uh, but I, I will most certainly say now that I, now that I'm used to it, it's like I could never go back. But the initial on ramp is, is, is non-trivial, for sure. And why not chuck in some other lesser known keys like page and up and I, I, I really use like that approach. Ones. I will I can't not even use an ergo keyboard that doesn't hand. have thumb clusters. It's just. So sweet. Not even the big, keyboard that I have at my desk. I personally use space and backspace and delete and enter all on my thumbs. And having backspace in particular on the thumb rather than I used to use my. How does it feel to use a normal keyboard occasionally? That was my uh, laptop. All right, I'm, I'm I'm used to it. I can I can do it. It's like I, it's my laptop, way far away. I had to go like way over to my laptop and lean over. So I, I I'm fine using it. I can use it. It's just that I, I prefer not to. Like if I can, yeah. Chat is dumb. That's the name of my project. Okay, it's to reflect my feelings about you. But like that, that I mean, I can use regular keyboards still. You know what's really cool is that I can actually use regular keyboards, and I've started to switch back to Dvorak, or I mean switch back to QWERTY on those keyboards. So that way I actually have, since there's like a feeling difference, I can actually map my brain to just QWERTY on flat keyboards and just Dvorak on uh on on these concave keyboards it's something i'm starting to train myself to do which is kind of an interesting thing but i'm finding that it's still a little bit hard it's still a little bit hard to do that so i was on dvorak just then was dvorak a mistake yes i think it was a mistake generally i think dvorak was a mistake i think the only thing that i should have done uh let's see uh github uh github oh my goodness github stupid fucking code just give me just give me the executable, the Primogen uh, keyboards. This is my biggest mistake, is that I designed this layout, by the way, to work on a laptop with no layers other than shift, right? That was the whole point. That was the whole point of this keyboard layout. If I could go back in time, I would have kept my base layer with the symbol layout like this and the shift layout like that, but I would have kept QWERTY. It's the symbols that were causing me the problem. I, 
over optimized. You know what I mean? I effed up. I over optimized thinking because I I really started getting a wrist pain before I switched to um, a kinesis. I really started getting wrist pain, and so I switched to Dvorak. And typically, because Dvorak was just so dang, uh, you just moved way uh, way less. And switching just the symbols was really the thing that was good. You know what I mean? Early interface implementation, I did. I really did it early interface. I should have waited. You know, I was younger in there. I was, I was younger, but uh, honestly, everything else is perfect. You know what I mean? You're still an Azerity virgin? Yeah, Azerity sounds like bad. Wrist pain wasn't from that. Um, literally, you don't know and shut the hell up. <laughs> I Sometimes, I swear, people, you just, want, you just want me to punch you in the face. I don't want to punch you in the face, but when you do something and pain goes away... That's how it works, okay? The problem is, is that all it, when you use a laptop, all of your all of your symbols are effectively on your pinky and third finger, and so you're constantly doing this when you're on a laptop keyboard. And this is like literally where the problem is is when you do this. And so it was it was shooting pain up the side of my arm, and that's when I got super freaked out. I just got done having my second kid. I'm sitting there thinking I live in California, which I'm from Montana, so you know how all Montanans think about Californians. I'm living in a th- I'm living on enemy territory. I am having I have two kids. I work at I work at my job that requires me to use a computer all day. Am I about to have to like quit and have a life change? Like what the hell am I about to do? I'm freaking out. Like I genuinely was having like a life crisis because it was hurting so bad that I thought I would have to quit programming. <sighs> Man, I was terrified. I was terrified. Terrified. Pinky up here. At what age was that? 29 or 28. 28. Yeah. <sighs> Enemy territory feels real. Yeah, you get it. You get it. 28 is when it happened. And I was freaking out. I was freaking out. And so that's when I switched to Dvorak, and six months later, I got this keyboard as well, or I got the Kinesis Advantage too, and then I used it for years and just loved it, and then all my pain went away. Um, just, ab- I mean, obviously, you see me program now. I program still like a madman. Absolutely loving it. It's fantastic. Like, reaching over there, uh, so yeah. much better. Then, Highly recommend. Just so you know that I, I am now paid shill for Kinesis keyboard. But hey, to be fair, I did buy multiple other keyboards for a half decade before they even convinced before they sent me one free keyboard then they sent me a free keyboard and then three years later after that they they actually paid me they've paid me twice feels pretty cool i've been paid a few bucks by kinesis you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about yeah i've used a moonlander i used their predecessor aerodox and I, didn't, I just didn't like it I, I i borrowed a few different keyboards to try it out and i just really didn't like it you know what i mean well I tried to like aerodox because that was the first one because it had that super sweet tenting so i figured that i would want um I figured that I would want that one more. I didn't. I thought I did, but I didn't. So, bought a Kinesis because of your marketing skills? Yeah. I bought a Kinesis knowing for a fact in five years I was going to be a successful Twitch streamer. I haven't started yet, nor did I even know what t- uh, t- Twitch was, but we knew it was going to happen. However, you will see that there's other elements of this keyboard layout that are non-standard. For example, where's the caps lock button? Is it right here beside A? No, that's escape. Yep. The philosophy of... Yep, and that's a good thing. Thank you, Kinesis, for not putting not putting a button that I remap in that location. Okay? Thank you for not putting that button that everybody remaps. Really appreciate that. Of Kinesis is... Who uses caps locks? SQL engineers. Like, they're trying to make the most ergonomic keyboard possible. They want to have everything within reach of, of the home row. And if there's keys that are not within reach, then they go onto a second layer. You hit some key press, and then you're on a layer that has all your numpad, for example. If I show you the K key, there's a second legend on the bottom of it indicating that it's the number five, which is super cool. You've got your F keys yeah. on a layer underneath so you can hit the number key. That thing right there. You can hit this thing and turn your keyboard into a number pad. I don't use it, and when I type it, and I get I get super confused and scared why nothing's working, and then I always remember that this button's been lit up, and I've accidentally hit this key. Keys. I would never and use that's that. That's all though. gravy if you get used to it. I don't want to get used to it. I never ever want to switch layers. I want more keys, um, and that's because I don't have an RSI. I'm using ergonomic keyboards to prevent RSIs, and because I don't actually have an injury, I'm willing to like sacrifice some ergonomics for extra productivity. Um, so my preference would be if they made a, I would love for them to make a keyboard that also had F keys up here and just maybe it's just a couple more keys so they don't have. 
It technically does have F keys right here. You just have to press this bottom. Mine, I don't have any key, keys on mine. This button right here is function. So these top keys are function keys. This bottom one is function. So I mean, like you do, you do have it. You do technically have them. The Kinesis, the Kinesis Advantage uh, 2 actually has the F keys dedicated, but it's just like, eh, eh. They're cool. I don't really need them. You know what I mean? I don't technically need them. I think I like them, but then once you get used to this, I don't know. I when I whatever I'm debugging, it's already like that. You know what I mean? I, I don't really. Layers aren't slow, anyways. Layers aren't slow, but I can understand. I, I actually truly understand his argument, which is it's the same reason why I designed my keyboard layout to be base layer and shift layer only, and no alternative layers, because I don't want to have a bunch of layers. I'm not a fan of layering, but I will sacrifice. Or I won't care if there's a function key if I can press a button to get function keys because function keys are a rarity for me. They're not a com – like I never press a function key ever. Like only when I am debugging do I use a function key. Where are the arrows then? The arrows are right here. Right right here. Two arrows are right there. The other two arrows are right here on this side. So you got left and right, up and down. Keyboard that also had F keys. I up use H J K and L, but maybe it's you just have a couple more well. keys, so they don't have to do things like move escape down to over here and caps over here. What were they? So you can see the arrows. And right I there. hate these arrow keys that are divided. You see, they got. I, you're supposed to go way down here. That's and funny. These I, fingers. I, I'm actually. I, I actually got used to it, and now I love it. I love the arrow keys right there. Right, it makes a lot of sense. But I mean, I use Dvorak, so unfortunately J and K are right here. So in my brain, I go up and down right here, and then left and right right here, but if I use the arrow keys, I go left and right right here and up and down over here. Very, you know, like it, 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 you know what I mean? Because sometimes you have to use the arrow keys. Like sometimes you don't have a choice on the uh, the, the arrow keys. For the left and right arrows. Repetitive skill issue. Hand hand for the up and down arrows. I don't like that. I want to see that all the so arrows good. in a normal cluster, in a normal orientation, because you- That's so good. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm stealing it. I'm stealing you. The MIT, MIT chat. Repetitive skill. Yoink. Yoink. Got him. Got him. Hey, you should know that chat's MIT. You spend years working in retail, getting muscle memory for the arrow keys, gaming, getting muscle memory for the arrow keys. To relearn stuff like that is brutal. In the case of hotkeys, I want to use the same muscle memory I already use on my laptop, which I might be using while I also have this keyboard in my life. You know? That's kind of hard We're to do. We're multi-device people. You got to switch between. And I have no problem switching between ortholinear keyboards like this with the up and down keys and using my thumbs and then going to my laptop. It's different enough I. that I actually don't have a problem switching between, but switching the muscle memory of hotkeys is a big deal. So I don't, why I don't not just to have that reprogram problem. the keyboard? That's easy to do on most keyboards, right? Indeed, you are right, except for this keyboard, this specific keyboard. If you get the Advantage 360 non-pro, that's a USB version. You plug that puppy in, it actually has a different and much easier to use keyboard reprogramming software. My guess is this take right here is going to get you guys really upset. And you guys are going to hate this take because it's it's not um it's probably it, it's probably not the take you want to hear. Um so get ready. It's you're, you're, you can pre-L right now. You can pre-L. So I in fact a lot of people don't like it seems like in, in our side of the world we don't want the smart set app software. With this particular pro board they're like, hey, you're a pro. Uh, you're such a pro that instead of having a nice GUI um, that's just like on our website for you to reprogram your keyboard like a Ergodox might, you actually have to go to their GitHub and fork their GitHub in order and use ZMK. Yeah, it's so. I told you, you're gonna be you're gonna be upset. He literally is. Where's the fucking EX8? Like that. That is the take right here. I know. I know. Just let it go. I. Th th but this is great though. This like really shows the difference between us a select subset of of kinesis advantage users versus or or keyboard users right like you, the fact that you even know that there's both qmk and zmk shows the difference between this okay
order to reprogram this thing, is not which is doable and they yeah. have an instruction guide on how to do it it's just not like i just don't get it on the one hand is there customer people who are like are not keyboard enthusiasts but just need ergonomic keyboards to service their injuries if it is yes why are you expecting those people to go and be power users on your git repository just one thing uh fun fact when they started their keyboard it was originally designed for accountants and uh student and typists people that typed as secretaries and stuff it wasn't actually designed for programmers they actually discovered that programmers liked their keyboards it wasn't it wasn't even for it was never designed for us how funny is that right and so then when they started realizing that actually engineers were the largest uh were, were the, their largest section that's when they switched over to this and that's when this is why we're having that weird changeover is because it was designed not for it was designed for Tommy Lee Jones. It was. But then it became from Tommy Lee to Zuckerberg. You know what I mean? So, you know, we're in the process. Why where why is there a CVS? Where is the XLSX? Right. That's two different users. I don't get it. I think that all their keyboards should have easy remapping. Uh, since it's so important on a on a smaller non-standard layout where you're going to want to customize it your way, especially with thumb clusters, make it easy for us guys. Another issue I have is that it's not RGB. Um, <laughs> seems like a stupid thing. Yeah, you should thing. laugh about Again, that one child. Why does it need it? It does have a backlight on the pro model. There is a global white backlight, which you can turn up and down. You hold I don't down use the RGB. mod button and arrow down and up. Wait. You see that going off and on. Yeah, it has a backlight? I didn't even know that. I Why literally that had RGB no idea there was a backlight. For a price of $480. What? Yes, it's $480. The non-pro model is $450. So that's my thing, you guys. It's very expensive. And you can't put a price on health. And that's their aim, is solving your health problems. It's almost a medical device. You could probably write it off. So it's cool. I it just is wish it, was be, it went beyond that and could be also my enthusiast keyboard. So for those prices, like, yeah, throw in some RGB and like, cause why not? It's cool that you can have five different profiles for attaching Bluetooth. It's cool that there's multiple layers of keyboard um, profiles you can connect to it or program into it beyond just the standard three uh, profiles that are included. I just have a general problem with the take overall which is like if you're an enthusiast keyboardist i would assume you'd rather use something like qmk or zmk to be able to adjust your your stuff because that pretty much works on all of these like more enthusiast styled keyboards uh is something that's a little bit nicer but if you if you don't want that if you're kind of more of like hey i just want to be able to kind of like remap a couple things then i totally understand you want this and i think that's just i think this is just the gulf between a programmer and not programmer, right? The golf is huge. And this actually, you know what? I'm going to go here. This is a great reason why AI and the prompt engineer is like such a failure, right? Because like, how do you get the person, just real talk, how do you, how do you bridge that golf, right? How do you bridge that golf? If this is kind of like the, the if, if this guy represents the typical prompt engineer coming up, like, this is very, very difficult. Pro is not meant for non-programmers. Agreed. But this is, like, the same problem, right? You go into these things that are a little bit more difficult, and all of a sudden you feel like, oh, this is sucks. This is this is terrible. How could I ever use this? Why would you want to do this? It's like most people prefer it this way. So it's kind of wild, right? Uh, it's kind of wild that we see something as such a net good, and somebody else can see this as such a net negative. Um, me personally, though, again, I still don't use the I, I still don't use the Pro. I deal with the smart set engine just so I can um, just so I can have it wired. I like it wired. I'm a wired guy. I don't want it not wired. I did go, I have I have a pro version. I just didn't like it, you know? I just didn't love it, and I don't want to continue to use it. I, I prefer the, the I, I'm a wired take. I'm a wired take. It's a wired take, okay? Uh, it's just how I feel. I've just never loved Bluetooth. Wired is the way. I think wired is the way, honestly. Personally, again, can you uh, wire the Pro? You can wire the Pro, yes. But that's what I was doing. So that's why I stopped using the Pro is that I was sitting there and it is just always wired. And I was just like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? I remap one key and that's it. Because I do software level remaps. Because ZMK can't uh, remap my keyboard. Uh, I, have, uh, I have to do software level remaps for my keyboard layout, unfortunately. My keyboard layout, it causes some goofiness. Uh, where is it? It's it's the dollar sign and the tilt, or it's the grave and the bar. 
Grave and Bar and Dollar Sign Tildy tend to be very hard ones to do on ZMK. And it took me quite a bit of time to like get it correct, but I had to make some uh, admissions and I moved some keys around to make this work. And so I just found it to be um, really frustrating. What software do I use to uh, remap? I use I use Ubuntu's X11. I use X11. I use Ubuntu and I just use X11. X11 has their own keyboard remap. It's like built in. Nah, it's completely possible. Yeah, you should try it. I have I have a whole I have a whole deal on it. And I spent a lot of time getting this grave to work correctly. It's not quite what you want it to be. Right? It's not like what you're hoping it to be. It's in gosh, uh, can I even remember this? It's in like cat shared where the fuck is x is x x11 shared keyboards xkb okay we're getting places we're getting places we're getting places it's not here dang it where is it i can't remember where it's at where is xkb at where is xkb at um xkb uh name or type uh directory name xkb Oh, you don't have permissions. Where where's it at, dude? I can't even remember where it's at. User? Oh, I bet you I, I think you're right. I think you're right. It's in user. Yeah, see, I knew there was share. Remember? I kept trying to type share. I kept trying to type share. So user share. Uh the problem is I do this like once, once every couple years, and then I gotta remember. Uh what is it? What is it? What is it? What was it? What is it? What was it? Let's just go in here and let's go like this. Uh find uh I can't remember what it is. It's something with Dvorak in it. There you go. There it is. There you go. So I have my little remap right here. So it's a software level remap. I just do it right here. It's awesome. Dude, I forget. I forget. I forget these things. You know what I mean? I forget where things are at. Because I just... You just... It's such a rarity that you do those things. It's cool that it has... This easy to use tenting system. And I have the I have the 360 Pro and wireless connection between parts. Sometimes the shit AF. You have to have time to boot to the left one and then turn to the right one. Yeah, see, that's the problem. Is I've had, I've I've always had some connectivity to two half ZMK keyboards, and I've heard so many other people say there's some sort of connection goofiness when it comes to Bluetoothing and all that. I'm tenting right now. And it's cool so. that it's like the most ergonomic thing ever. <laughs> but I just wish they had like a a middle ground keyboard that had all these benefits, but just like an extra row of keys over here, maybe some macro keys on the side, and and let every user have the cheap and easy non-power user reprogrammability. And then it would be my perfect keyboard, and I would put it on my desk. Hey, I don't but think you can have ZMK day, plus that. I'm stuck using could. the truly maybe. ergonomic yeah. Cleave keyboard with its optical switches, and you know, it's flat. It, it's, it's not everything I want. I want it plus this smashed together and like an external keypad. I'd probably put like a little keypad in the middle here or something like that. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, maybe go down memory lane and check out all the other weird ergo keyboards we've covered over the years. It is cool. I, I mean, I like, I like, I, I, his take is just so much different than my take. Which I think is just so funny because like I, I don't know how to like map my brain onto his take that well because the product person inside of me says, I like how heavy and steel and hard plastic these are. So if you add keys to this, the keyboard val the keyboard or the keyboard cost is going way up. Right. And for me, I don't want that. Right. Like it's already expensive enough for me. I don't want to have to pay more. Like, so you add a whole bunch of stuff to it, and I think it's just gonna, you know, it's just gonna skyrocket. I know Coralova's awesome, right? It just costs more, so I don't like that. I'm fine with a layer on the keys. I don't, I rarely, rarely use like functions. I'm fine programming ZMK if I have to. Obviously, you saw me, I dorked out on software remaps in X11. I also have it for Windows and Mac at one point, but I think those ones don't quite work. I had it for ukulele on Mac and all that. But it's just like, you get to this point where, I think I just have such a different approach to keyboards because I use it in a, in a programmer's mindset, um, not in a, not not in just like a casual mindset. He's not a programmer, exactly. So I think that that's where the big, uh, big jump is. Would you like help with ZMK? I, I I got really far with my ZMK setup. I'm not sure if it's in here. I don't think it's in here. Yeah, I'll have to go find it. I I got really far. I got there. There was one thing that couldn't be done that was annoying, and that's it. So, anyways.
There you go. I like it though. I've had a really good time. I like it. I like the keyboard. I think I think overall I the problem is is like his trade-offs aren't the trade-offs I would make. So like I couldn't like I literally could not use that keyboard he showed at the end cuz anytime I use like a flat keyboard, I start getting I start getting like like uh what's it called? forearm pain. So like this like flat resting really hurts me. Close together hands really hurt or, like really hurts me. I don't know what it is. I type too hard. Years of skateboarding. I don't know what it is. It's not tennis elbow. I think it's technically golf elbow because of where it's hurting. Uh, but it all I know is I get effed up whenever I use that. Mr. Burns typing. Move! Nick Burns. Uh, but, yeah. So I just have that one. I just have that problem. And so, that's golf elbow? Yeah, I think it's golf elbow. Yeah, hold on. You, uh, Nightshade, dude, you don't even have to, uh, you don't even have to ban the guy. Or you don't have to you don't have to delete the guy's message. Let's just get him out of here. Epic Sax guy, you're out. You're done. You're done. Unable to ban user, ban. Epic Sax guy, you're done. Unable to ban user, you must already be done. Okay, you must already be done. And so uh, the, the the keyboard that I actually am very curious about and it it looks pretty cool is that Glove 80. I think this is actually a pretty dang cool keyboard. Like I will always probably like. My Kinesis, I already own it. I don't need to spend more money on keyboards. I'm already very used to it. And plus, they 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 now sponsor me and they send me free keyboards. Like I love that. But if I were to buy another keyboard, I think I'd buy a Glove 80 to try it out because it looks like this action's really low, and I think I could get used to it. I think I could try it out. So if I were to use one, I would probably use a Glove 80. Real talk, I think this is where I'd want uh, where I'd want. The problem I see with it, or the thing I'd hope, is it doesn't feel cheap. I'm really worried about these little stands. And then being perfectly even or having to adjust them. I don't know if I like that. I'd like to, I mean, I'm hoping that it'd be good. You know what I mean? So that's kind of where I'm at on keyboards. I will continue to use, the low profile keycaps are awesome. Yeah, I agree. The low profile looks good. I just hope that it feels good. I really want to feel good on using the keyboard. Because that's kind of that's kind of my problem is that I need a keyboard that also feels good. I can't just have one that feels really light and I might get like angry at it. So we'll see. Uh, had one, sold it because it was feeling cheap. Yeah, see, I mean, but, I mean, but that's the price point, right? You pay for what you get. So if if this thing costs like one hundred and fifty dollars or whatever it is, how much does it cost? To, uh, how, how much does it cost to get one? Can is there like a price? How does one find a price? This one has lots of RGBs. Okay, four hundred bucks. I'd expect it to be pretty dang good then. Honestly, I I'm a little bit surprised it doesn't feel magnificent at four hundred bucks. But I think this is I think this is a great keyboard. If I were to use a keyboard, I'd want to try this one. So I'm hoping to try this one out someday just to say I've tried it. The thumb clusters are going to F me because I'm so used to – the problem is, is I'm so used to like a specific style of thumb cluster. Having a different thumb cluster would be very difficult for me to like use. You know what I mean? Like that would be very, very difficult. People confuse light with cheap. They do confuse light with cheap, but I'd like to try it out. Have you seen a Moonlander? Yes, I've used the Ergo Docs, the, the pre-Moonlander. I have not used a Moonlander. I've only seen it. I've never really enjoyed their style. Uh, like I don't like I don't like flat keyboards. I like I like the concavity, right? Concavity, I think, to be is is really one of the best ones. Uh, there was another keyboard that I thought was beautiful that I really wanted to try. It's like this magnet uh, keyboard. Magnet keyboard. It was a really cool YouTube video. Hold on, let's let's see if we can find it for a quick second. Hold on, just get, give me a moment. Give me a moment, people. Uh, what what do I say? Keyboard magnet. Gosh, I figured. It, I'd, is it flux? Is it is it flux? Yeah, yeah, this one. This one just. We already watched this one. This one just looks super super cool to begin with. Flip, you may have to take out the music. I don't know if it's going to DMCA me. If it does, you can just take out the sounds. aluminium wheel like that's cool like i love that like the fact that you can take things off and put things on and change things around i think that that is super cool i love the idea of it the char recorder yeah so the char recorder has a new keyboard 
I, I actually have an open invite to use the Chara Quarter keyboard. Uh, what's that? What's the what's the company? What's the company's uh, name? Chara Chara Quarter keyboard. The problem is, is that for me to be able to do that, I have to like. There's so much I'd have to do to use it effectively. You know what I mean? I swear there was a really cool keyboard that they had. Anyways, this is also super. This is also a super cool keyboard company. I thought they had a new one. This is a super cool c company, right? I think that they they've done a great job with this, and I would love to. I'd love to become a stenographer one day. And just try it out. It would be a lot of fun to see. Can I use it? Oh, someone said they 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 found it's like gold. Yeah, it's, if if this is the one, it's like golden. Uh, this isn't the one that I was looking at. Oh, maybe uh, I remember seeing this guy's video, but this uh, this isn't the one that I was looking at. No. Anyways, super cool. All right. Well, you get the idea. I like. I mean, I like this. This is super cool. Uh, but as far as keyboards go, I don't know. People really people really dork out on keyboards. I just want something that works. You know what I mean? Can we all be real here? I just want something that really works. And I want something that doesn't hurt my 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 wrists or my elbow. You know what I mean? Like that that's all I want. And so I like thumb clusters, concavity. Everything else I don't care about. The name is the primogen.